someone said to me, well, with all that's going on in the world now, Sindhu, surely on stage you're talking more about politics. I'm not a political comic, so I said, no, why should I? And then they said, because you're a brown woman. That's very political. What? I mean, why as a brown woman can I not just care about my own shit? <laughs> why do I have to care about, well, frankly, what is your shit? <laughs> you know? And also, as a brown woman, I did my homework right up top. When I moved to this country 20 odd years ago, I applied for and got a UK passport like this. And then, and then, I married a European. Hello, two for two. <laughs> so for those of you who are floundering now, well, you snooze, you fucking lose, all right? <laughs> I don't know. But it's not that I don't think about politics and it's not that I don't worry about politics, of course I do. When the Brexit vote happened, I called my mother, she lives in India, and I was so upset, I was crying, and I said, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, mommy, and the kids, and what about us? And my mother said, oh, just shut up. Your life could be much worse even without the Brexit, you know. And I said, how? She said, well, you could be dead, husband could marry the pretty lady, and she could be very cruel to your kids. <laughs> and then I was like, first of all, mommy, that is very specific, all right? <laughs> and second of all, who is the pretty lady? <laughs> but I tell you what, immediately stopped thinking about politics and started thinking about my husband. I have been married for over a decade, which means for over a decade, I have been working with this man. I have been working on this man. And Apollo, I won't lie to you, I have been manipulating the shit out of this man <laughs> to make him a mildly agreeable spouse. And I'm going to die and some bitch is going to inherit that? No, 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 no. No, it's all mine. So I went and found my husband, he was reading, and I said, hey, hey, if I die all of a sudden, are you gonna get married again? And my husband said, wait, what, wait, what are we talking about? And I was like, oh my God, you're stalling. I mean, this is a yes and no question. So I said to him, listen to me. Before you make up any more lies, let me tell you the correct answer to this question. You please memorize it. First of all, if I die all of a sudden, you mourn me every single day of the week. Second of all, there is a giant picture of me in the hall. And every time you pass the picture, you stop and you do namaste to that picture. <laughs> and if the kids are around, you call them over, you gather them up and you all cry a little bit. And then because my husband knows me very well, he said, oh yeah, fine, um, have you been talking to your mother? <laughs> <laughs>